use that thing again because it always caused me problems. I fine. I only used it twice uh, on ETS2, uh, but that's more than enough. I'm done with that horrible, horrible bridge. No more wide, ultra long cargos for me. Uh, and that is why I am using on ATMX, a notoriously difficult map to haul on, uh, this thing here. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? Hi guys, it's Wombat and although ETS2 has been released in the new version 1.36. I'm not doing any map combos for that version of the map other than of course the beta combo I released a couple of weeks ago. I'm waiting for of course the new DLC to come out first and then I'll start making map combos again for ETS2. Instead, we are going to look at a first update of our map combo for ATS. And of course, we have updates for um, some of the map mods that we used on the first version. But more importantly, I have a couple of additions that I'm using on this one. Uh, after much criticism, I've decided to include Urban Miner Overhaul. There you go. And I am also including ATMX version 2.0. Now I didn't use version 2, sorry, 1.0 in my first map combo and that was on purpose uh, because version 2.0 was just around the corner and I wanted to see that first and take a look at it uh, before I decided whether I should include it or not. And I have included it. I'm hauling on it right now. And it's a wonderful update to ATMX. Uh, the ATMX map, for those of you who do not know it, it is a fictional map and it's located in the uh, ocean west of the United States. Uh, and that is perfectly fine because it is a fictional map. So call it Atlantis if you want. Uh, doesn't really matter. What matters is that it has a lot of roads like this. Um, which we are on right now, narrow uh, hill climbs, uh, fictional. Some parts of it is uh, of the kind that I'm not really into, the uh, dangerous, uh, difficult roads thing. And even though this road right here is something similar, it's still very nice and uh, difficult in a good way to haul on maybe because of the Road Hunter mod I'm using, who knows. Uh, but it's, it's a lot of fun uh, doing this on, on that map. Uh, I'm going to say a couple of other things about ATMX uh, that I'm hoping that uh, Alta Tension is listening into. And that is that I think that the companies, the trailers, the buses, the traffic in general, that is uh, part of ATMX. I wish that was a separate mod you could add if you wanted it, because as it is right now with ATMX, and as it's always been, to be honest, with ATMX, it is rather intrusive. Uh, the company names, they follow you around on the other maps, uh, the other map mods as well. Uh, the buses, the traffic that ATMX adds is added to every single map mod you are using. And I guess that you could possibly avoid some of it by moving ATMX to a different location in the uh, map manager. But I'm not going to do that because in its current position on my combo, it works without breaking any roads or anything. So I'm fine with that. But I do feel that the traffic and everything else other than the map itself, of course, that comes with ATMX is a little bit intrusive. So I would love to see those parts being added to a separate mod so that you can choose yourself if you want it or not. 
that's all I'm going to say about it. I'm not going to try to scare anyone away from using ATMX because I really think you need to try it out and do some of this type of hauling, which I'm doing right now. But enough is enough. I've been speaking for five minutes or so now. So let's have a look at what the map looks like before we go into how you set this combo up. So uh, let's get started. And here they are, the usual suspects, of course. We have Bengan's background map, we have Canadream, and as you can see, Canadream has a lot of different points where it's connected to the United States. Uh, I've seen a couple of comments from people saying that it's only connected in one place. Uh, no, it's not. Um, we have coast to coast, of course. We have all the Mexican maps. Um, and we have... Um, the star of the show, I would say, Sierra Nevada. Here, it's a paid mod. It costs $8 right now, but it will be free of charge in the future. And of course, we then have ATMX. Uh, with a couple of very interesting cities, Wombat Trucker Valley uh, and West Wombat Valley. Um, enough about that. These are the two new parts that is added to version 2.0 there are other things as well but i found those two islands to be very interesting to haul on uh, so that is the entire update in, in addition to that we also have urban uh, overhaul which you can't really see uh, never mind that let's go through the um, active mods list and see how you set this up and here is the mods list. At the bottom we have the Minor Urban Overhaul version 9, followed by Viva Mexico Map version 2.5.2, .2, Mexico Extremo 2.1.11, and the final version of MexiMap SLP version 1.4. Then we have three files that you won't have or you will have in another version than I have if you do not have Sierra Nevada. This is the key file for Sierra Nevada. You'll find this in the same email you receive when you buy Sierra Nevada. We of course have Sierra Nevada. Current version is 2.2.7 and Mega Resources 2.1.5. This one also comes with Sierra Nevada. So if you buy Sierra Nevada, you get these three files. Now, if you don't have Sierra Nevada, the current Mega Resources version is 2.1.4. So using 2.1.4 is just fine if you don't have Sierra Nevada. But if you do have Sierra Nevada, make sure that you use version 2.1.5. Regardless of whether you have 215 or 214, you need the Mega Resources Coast to Coast patch and ATMX Expansion version 2.0, ATMX Mountain Roads and Coast to Coast version 2.10.1, Canadream 2.9.1 and finally the Background Satellite Map by Bang and Jay. So there you have it. I should perhaps mention that with ATMX you also get several other files, one shown here, the ATMX bus mod. So if you want to use a bus, well, you have a bus mod here as well. There are other ATMX files you may add as well, but I'm just sticking with the map files in this case. And there you have it. Very simple and uh, hopefully you won't have any problems setting this up. Again, the Sierra Nevada mod is a paid mod. You need to pay $8 to US dollars, that is, uh, to get this map. In the future, this map will probably be uh, set free, so to speak. It will be free of charge, but currently it is a paid mod and I can't really say for how long it's going to be a paid mod, uh, but currently it is. And with that said, I think we're done for the day. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe as well. And as always, feel free to share my videos on any of your social media, 
it helps me grow so uh, in advance thank you very much for that till next time take care everyone bye bye <laughs>